what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell from the title of this video it's just me giving an encouraging word to people to christians who are wondering what's up with god like in the in our personal lives in the what's ev everything that's going on with the world just generally like what's up with god and our faith wavering slightly i just want i was reading through hebrews and you know through the whole pa the patriarch of faith abraham and all the other people who trusted god with their lives and trusted god with so many things and it just had me thinking especially about abraham abraham didn't have a track record or rather god didn't have a track record when he went to abraham Abraham trusted him just out of trust like he had faith in him just just out of faith and it's just baffling really because I don't think it was easy for Abraham to trust God like I'm not saying it's easy but he did he trusted God that despite the fact that his wife was old I'm mean, like yeah he was old too but you know guys can <laughs> It, it's it's always available but women they reach a certain age and it's it's not possible apart from God with without God it's really not possible there is no science that can make it possible and he trusted God that God can do it even though there was no proof there was no evidence of God having ever done something like that before he trusted God and then he had this son and God told him to sacrifice the son and he trusted that God would raise his son from the dead since God said it's Isaac that his generation is going to come from. He was like, okay, well, he gave me the son. If he tells me to sacrifice the son, I'm sure he will find a way to bring the son back. Even though there was no evidence of God having ever brought somebody to life before. And again, I don't think it was easy for him to believe, but he did. And it just makes me think of intimacy. Um we're all more likely to trust our parents or our brother or sister more than a stranger on the street because we know them because we're intimate with them and so i realized that that's kind of where we had to get to with god we have to be closer to god we have to be intimate with god otherwise it's going to be very very difficult for us to trust him we have hard times trusting him these days despite the fact that we have the bible we have testimonies upon testimonies testifying about god's goodness and yet we still have a hard time trusting him it's really just interesting to think about and it comes from a place of pride as well as not knowing who god is because what i also realized when i was you know studying was that trust has it it has to do with us yes but it has to do more with god than it has to do with us and what i mean by that is back to the analogy of us trusting our parents we're the same person but we trust our parents and we don't trust a random stranger but we're the same person so it has to do with the fact that they are our parents that's why we trust them and so we need to understand who god is we need to understand that he's faithful we need to understand that he's good we need to understand that every good thing comes from god and he has the best possible plans for us i think when we like continuously remind ourselves of that when we look upon god's word look upon his faithfulness then we wouldn't have such a hard time trusting him and so this is just me encouraging you to trust god and if you have a hard time trusting god then look at his word look at his track record he's faithful and when i say look at his track record i mean actually look at his track record don't look at things that you expect him to do that he didn't do look at things that he has actually done because a lot of people say that god doesn't answer their prayers but there are three answers no yes and not now later like you understand so sometimes god says no and just like our parents say no sometimes he's in the right to say no because especially because he can see our beginning and our end so he knows what we need before we need it so we might ask him for something and then we don't get it and it's like god but i asked you for this i cried out with, to you with all my heart and and it's like if i gave you this thing then you would have become something else if i gave you this thing in the long run it would not have been beneficial to you so we have to trust god we have to understand who he is Underst it all comes down to understanding him and 
being intimate with him and i think that when we do that when we can do that then we'll find it easier to be faithful and to put our hope and our trust and our faith in him because at the end of the day nothing is impossible for god and man is limited but god is not limited and like i'm speaking to you but i'm also speaking to myself because it's something i was thinking about and i was just like I'm not going to allow myself to be discouraged despite what my situation looks like because God is faithful. Fact, God is faithful. So if God is faithful and if God has good plans for my life and if God knows what's best for me, I can't, <laughs> talking about seeing tomorrow, I can't even see an hour from now, but he can see my beginning from my end. So why should I put my trust in myself and not him? So this is just... Like I said, an encouraging word. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling out of it, just listen to some worship songs. Remind yourself of who God is and know that with God, all things are possible and he knows what's best for you and he has your best interest in mind. So just trust him and be like Abraham, honestly. Be like, let's, let's be like Abraham. I just trust him. Just, just trust him. I mean, think about making friends for the first time. You meet someone and you decide to trust the person. You just meet someone and you decide, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to trust this person. And then obviously, because we're humans and we err, there's an up and down. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to trust this person more. The more you get to know someone, the more you trust them. And then suddenly someone becomes your best friend. And as cheesy as the saying might be, but... God, Jesus, should be one of our best friends. He wants to be one of our best friends. Don't think it's weird lying on your bed and just talking to him. Sometimes it helps you just relieve your chest, relieve your mind of those words and those feelings. Just release it onto him. I promise you it helps. So if you're going, whatever you're going through, not if you're going through anything, because we're all going through something in our own way whatever you're going through let's remember that god is faithful as long as you trust him everything is going to work out in the end some days are hard don't get me wrong some days will be hard some days will be easier than others you're not going to be happy every single day sometimes you're going to cry yourself to sleep but overall you're going to be joyful because your joy is in god and his faithfulness and it's not to say like you pretend like you don't have issues like i I don't think I pretend like I don't have issues, but at the same time, talking about something constantly, like there's no other thing in the world. Like I could talk about my issues or I could talk about the fact that I wrote a book and I published a book. So I can talk about the negative or I can talk about the positive. And when I'm engaging with people, like who seriously wants to hear me talk about my issues all day long? Like when I'm not paying you as my therapist to do so, God actually god wants us to do that god is our free therapist so to speak and his word also everything about him, everything together is is our constant therapist like take home take anywhere take everywhere therapist and i promise you that it definitely does help so trust god trust god more than you trust yourself trust god more than you trust your parents trust God more than you trust any human being. Human beings make mistakes. We're not perfect, but God is perfect and he's good. So I'll just say a little prayer and then disappear. <laughs> so Father God, thank you for today. Um, I pray for everybody that is listening and or watching this video. I pray that you release the pressure on their hearts and the thing that is weighing them down the most, you help them relieve that pressure, oh God. I pray that your ho Holy Spirit impresses against them for them to trust you more and they open up their heart to you and they do begin to trust you more. And they see that even though life generally isn't easy, with you, the journey is easier and there is fullness of joy in you and there are pleasures forevermore in you. So help our eyes to be open continuously to this fact oh lord as we draw closer to you and learn more about you and worship you and praise you thank you lord because i know that you have heard my prayer and i pray all this in jesus name amen 
so if you like content like this uh, make sure to subscribe if you like content like any other thing on my channel make sure to subscribe put on the post notification bell because I upload every Tuesdays and Fridays like if you enjoyed the video and comment you can comment if you want me to pray for you you can message me on my social media you can reach out and I will pray for you and yeah see you in the next one